I'm Dr. Radish Malhotra. I'm Principal Director and Head of Cardiothoracic Surgery at Max Hospital, Saket. I just want to tell you about one of my patients, Mr. Abdul Malik, 20-year-old gentleman. He came to us about three months back. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's me, Muhammad Abdul Malik Naji Saleh Al Kainain. I live in the Yemen, and I'm 20 years old. I was suffering from the pain of the heart, the pain of the heart, and we connected with him with Osama Ali Al-Baghdani, and he was the director. He could not even walk for a few steps. He could not even walk for a few steps. It was difficult for him to lie down. It was even difficult for him to have his food. And when we evaluated him, we found that his heart function was 10 to 15 percent. And his heart was hardly barely functioning. And he was not able to eject or he was not able to meet the blood requirement of other organs of the body. Alhamdulillah, I was <laughs> Dr. Reginish Malhotra in the Max. في حي ساجد والحمد لله قررني عملية زراعة ألباد والحمد لله تمام وأمور العملية تمام. After thorough evaluation and stabilizing him, we found that he requires ventricular assist device or heart transplant. So we had a heart team meeting, our cardiologist, ourselves, and everybody decided that we have to do a left ventricular assist device. We did a transesophageal echo, which further showed that his right ventricular function was also not appropriate, was also not optimal. So we decided that we should put a right ventricular assist device also. Max. And eventually, over a period of one month, almost I would say exactly saying 37 days or 36 days, we could wean the right ventricular assist device. And and the patient is in very good condition now. He is able to walk himself, he is able to feed, he is able to lie down. He is able to do his daily activities. I wish him all the luck and he is ready to go to Yemen in the next couple of days time. And I hope that he will have a good life and will be able to lead a normal healthy life. Thank you Max. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.